Oh, Libra. Cancer season. Feels a little different, huh? Not as chaotic, a little more grounded. Maybe you're a little tired the past few days. Take it in. Let the change of season happen. Before we get into the reading, all information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. And as well as the second part to this reading, which is the extended version, which will be on Patreon. And that's the first link that you find below is that one. Okay, there is an obvious, very authentic change occurring in your life right now. Something that is physical to an extent. The Libra, car the Libra card right in between this is that you're prepared for the change that's occurring. Like this is cancer season or whatever. And let me describe that for you. This is cancer season in the ways in which you have not given yourself enough attention or credit or emotional space from that in which you for that the specific roles you play in your life or the many different roles that you play in your life, or the part of you that does feel responsible for keeping, and responsibility is a huge word in cancer season, the part of you that feels not so much accountable, but mostly responsible. And you, feel, you may feel responsible for certain things and circumstances or situations that you're a part of, but not necessarily involved in if that makes sense. So what I'm getting at with that is that you, these moments that are going to be changing or this moment that changes everything for you is the moment that you're really facing yourself in the moments where you, I've been reading it kind of this way and I do want to read this way for you and I've done this for a few different signs when you have face cards next to each other because we have the queen looking away from justice but the justice is facing forward and i've yet to have a card facing forward like when with a setup like this in this the first card i claim the subconscious and then the, it's all about the subconscious but the conscious what's really showing up in the conscious and then what's really showing up in the subconscious um with the face cards next to each other is very clear that you may be wary about something that your heart, soul, the divine timing in life is so ready to face, is so ready to maybe some things you're clearing up, some changes you're wanting to make, it's so ready to, to face it, to come to a point where it's like, okay, I'm ready for this change, but there's still a part of you, and there is always. As much as cardinal signs want, want to make things happen, there's this part that resists, resists it without a certain control. Because you know that when you give into it, you know that when you, as you see this change begin to happen, and the circumstance begin to happen, it's justice for yourself for the part of you that needs to let the subconscious take care of it. For the part of you that knows that you can't get in front of this thing or this person or this part of you. This part, <laughs> he's shown up in the Leo reading a lot too. Say hi, Beatty. He just, he's funny. Um, so, you may be feeling like you don't want to face the certain aspect about yourself and 
or the certain aspect about your life. This change that is coming, this feeling, you feel like, the, you know when the wave pulls, so Cancer sees a metaphor for, you know, when the wave is about like rolling out to roll back, to just like come crash back in, you know that that's happening. You feel the pull of the undertow. You feel Cancer season about to change your life in a different, in a way that you need it in a way that you're ready for, in a way that you can only be ready for, and whether you're looking or not. And what is that change? That change is about the way you were, it's about money, so we have justice, right? It's about money, it's about love, it's about the equality between it, the, just, the fairness between life, and this is a change for the better, this is a change for stability, and it's not, this isn't just about money. This is not just the pentacles. This is about the change in stability in your value to it, your relationship with it, your relationship with yourself and how that directly affects the relationship with your money or your relationships that you value. The ones that you really value, the ones that you don't have to be the justice card the way you can be the queen of cups. Where you're not just being perceived, you're not just being looked at, you're not just being, you know, judged for lack of a better word. And we have the High Priestess, which are two pillars, and then we have the Two of Wands. I'm just really pointing out the symbolism that I'm seeing more and more together. The ones that become apparent in each card are like, if they're simultaneous. So... These moments where you find deep insight, because we have the, and I don't set up the cards the same every time I don't line um, a certain amount. So having justice right above the high priestess in this, not really on purpose, just kind of putting it there and then noticing it, is you realizing how much power comes from this part of you that you only listen to sometimes. And now life is taking cancer season is taking you into this ocean <laughs> into this water into the vastness of how your intuition can be this part of you that is the guiding force of the plan whatever plans you've created because we know we can make the plan but and it will sort of way out but you know and like I was trying to get to from the beginning so now I'm seeing certain things come together in this is that things will change things will shift you know when you you know that as this is coming it's hard because you know that it's going to be dark and mysterious no matter what you know that that's what's coming you know that that's the feeling you know that and you feel it, and you're highly aware of how sensitive you are to it this month. And especially to the ways in which you haven't, you've focused a lot on where you haven't gone right in these areas or where you've had a lot of trials and tribulations. And now it's this moment where everything shifts for you. It will feel, there will be feelings involved. You will feel maybe even grievance for this time, but you're ready to enter. Yet, while you're sensitive to it and while you have this deeper, greater connection to your intuition this month, there's still a part of you that can re be resistant to how clear it's showing it to you, how much it's cleaning out, right? So the tower is like the washing away of all that can't exist in your life moving forward. Oh, shit. And <laughs> this is what the outcome is. This is not just the outcome. It's what you now understand why... Yes, there... Why, yes, there is a resistance and while it is important for it to show you because emotions are signals emotions are 
communications from the body. Like this is different. It's not just like, this hurts, this could hurt. This feels different. I've never felt this way before. This is new, whoa. And then it kind of feels weird and now it's a different sensation and all of a sudden it starts to feel good. And you breathe into it and you breathe into your belly and you breathe into these spaces. And what does that look like? You can visualize um, going into these spaces like, Libra, we'll get more into this in the second part, but Libra is the ruler of um, the ovaries, or Venuses. I'm sorry, I'm not getting the crack, but we'll get in the second part, because that stuff is, there's just a lot to it. Um, either way, the ovaries are involved, the kidneys are involved, um, and there's an emphasis on this flushing out. The season is flushing out and having you realize that there are also probably some people who don't know how to say this to you or don't know how to bring this to your attention and now you don't need them to and not that you ever really did but it's also really important really important to have the, that people's opinions in your life that you value but not higher than your own higher power and visualizing these places the kidneys which is a very intuitive place it's a very it detoxifies a lot of very detailed stuff in the body you know we can say it's all the bile right so it's all this that has already gotten taken care of then we go through that and they're just you know the functions keep going and then we have the intuition right but which is also the gut so maybe those are different parts of your body maybe just breathing into your belly honestly breathing into this area of your body you know not to be too visual but taking a moment there and as someone who and maybe you need to be in a safe space I wouldn't recommend doing it because that can cause a lot of feelings for some people depending on if you've always just since adolescence have stayed in the heart space of breathing maybe you bringing it down to the belly could feel difficult or sensation so just start slow but I would say that learn to process that because what wants to flow in as this all flows out is this overwhelming abundance of life in general and I think this month you're gonna find these you're gonna find a big big moment within yourself you know big realizations very obvious ones that are brought to your attention in a way that is so important for what you can plan and what you can understand what you can control and then what that feels like to be given this space to allow these sensitivities and what has caused pain and what you've been afraid of being really honest and true about, which can come off harsh or like as if Libra's changing or Libra's, you know, not being nice or something. It's like people can't understand these different multi, multi-dimensional ways about you. And I want to tell you, coming from a fellow Libra, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how people can't understand these different aspects about you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because this is for you and this time is for you and it's for you to understand you and be tapped into this part of you and to be around people who really support you to feel supported during this time of change is also connecting to the source <laughs> connecting deeper to yourself and deeper to whatever you are whatever energy you're putting faith into whatever yes whatever that means for you and to trust something greater than yourself all right libra we get into the next part
See you next month.